So we are taking a very important topic today, which is how people make decisions. So marketers are nowadays very, very important that how people are making decisions. So for that, there is a one statistical technique which is known as conjoint analysis. And uh, I am going to cover the concept as well as a practical aspect uh, using SPSS. So in a very easy way, we are going to discuss that how we are using uh, conjoint analysis. So now a, a particular consumer will going to buy a product or not or if it is a hit in the market that is precisely what conjoint analysis will going to determine so important thing which you need to notice it is a quantitative method in marketing research and it is focusing on numerical measurement rather than the open-ended inquiries right so we are majorly focusing on quantitative data and that is why i am going to use the spss for this particular uh, conjoint analysis so what is conjoint analysis as i said it is a very widely used technique which is used in marketing research that help businesses understand what are the customer preferences and trade-off trade-off means that what they are willing to lose in case if they are getting something else so what are their preferences what are the trade-off when they are evaluating multi-products or the service attributes simultaneously so now it is again as I said, it's a method for studying how respondents value different products or service attributes. So mainly used for understanding customer and new product development. So as I said, it's a very good marketing technique and majorly used to understand the customer and to develop a new product keywords that you need to focus that Sunday are the attributes, Sunday components, then variation on each element if you going to see, uh, then uh, you know these are the level, rankings or rating of different Sunday which is represent the data collection phase, then owner analysis to figure out the most loved combination which represent the data analysis and this is what is the uh, you know basis of a conjoint analysis in one uh, screen. So now uh, that customer will going to make a importance of each ice cream component and that will going to create a perfect Sunday and companies will going to understand that which is the what is the actually maximum preference of their customer. Now going ahead. We need to understand one concept here that is what is utility score, right? So, uh, you know, we, the uh, weightage that we have seen that uh, customers has given will actually come as a satisfaction level. So, here you need to understand that conjoint analysis always, uh, you know, calculate a utility score. So, in conjoint analysis, as I said, that uh, utility score or the satisfaction level is the value or the preference that respondents has assigned to a different level of attribute or feature within the product. And it also quantify how much each attribute uh, contribute to the overall desirability of the product or service. So these utility scores are derived from the respondent choice or the ratings in the surveys that you will going to circulate and uh, you know that will uh, going to create the um, attribute levels. So these scores help businesses understand which attribute is the most influential in uh, deriving the consumer preferences and can uh, inform product development, pricing strategy and marketing decisions. So now uh, again uh, going directly to the conjoint analysis and start calculating it before that i just want you people to understand the concept how many types once you have a clear concept then it is hardly a two step process in doing uh, you know in spss so everything i am going to provide you don't worry on that aspect uh, calculation but uh, most important aspect is to understand the concept so there are two type of the conjoint analysis one is uh, cbc and another one is aca CBC choice based and uh, adaptive conjoint analysis is ACA. So what is CBC? Most common form of uh, conjoint analysis and it mirrors the consumer real life buying habit, right? So here uh, in CBC respondents are present with the choices between the different product or service alternative. Here you can see an example. It is written that they might ask where well, would you uh, rather be take a ride, uh, you know, ride share service to a location 10 minutes away or 13 or walk 30 minutes for free. So such kind of choices are being provided to them. Now market Marketers will use these responses to understand consumer preferences and tailor their marketing campaigns accordingly. Second one is, you know, for product design. 
so aca kind of conjoint analysis is done by companies when they want to design uh, you know particularly uh, a product so what they will going to do they will delve deeper into the specifications right so rather than presenting a choices aca will going to uh, present the attribute questions uh, which is uh, like in the form of likert scales Likert scales means most likely to least likely. This kind of a scale is being created. Then respondents will going to indicate their preferences for various attribute by showing how likely they are going to purchase a product with slight differences. Now, uh, for example, if we take uh, similar cars with different features such as doors and manufacturers, so this is uh, the difference you have understood. What is CBC or ACA? These two. both uh, conjoint analysis of a marketer's valuable insights into the consumer preferences and it help inform product development pricing strategy and marketing campaign three important thing you can see and the source which i have taken is a hubspot uh, they have uh, provided all the details as well. i have uploaded that uh, you know video of spss go and check there you where you will going to find that uh, data set uh, and how we are calculating and what is the importance of uh, you know utility score now moving ahead this is the another important uh, topic so uh, i have uh, already shown you how to do the same thing in spss because spss is the most popular software for quantitative analysis other than that these are the tools which are also available for easy you know conjoint analysis one is a qualtrix as i said that it is easy to use survey tool which is having a comprehensive product insights email survey invite so again uh, what is the advantage uh, capture customer brand and employee experience insight and uh, this is if you will going to embed the survey question in email invite that is beneficial in qualtrix conjoint uh, again dot ly is a versatile toolbox that is uh, used for product and pricing research uh, again uh, it is very very good for research based questions quick feedback tools for rapid feedback and uh, if you will going to try before you buy with quick uh, feedback tool that is a pro tip uh, for this uh, particular tool thousand minds is adaptive conjoint analysis scalable to include thousands of participants and uh, in, uh, this is included as many participant as need you use uh, pre built templates or uh, build in customer models that uh, is a one tip uh, for you if you are using thousand mind there is another uh, one tool which is uh, q research software again ideal for choice based analysis experimental designs data analysis and report generations majorly designed by market researchers and uh, one tip is their customizable report uh, tailored to your needs can be done here this is again uh, taken from the hubspot where they have provided which tools are nowadays very popular for using conjoint analysis now there is a one tip uh, you know uh, that is for especially for marketers over here so various strategy for enhancing conjoint analysis surveys uh, how we can make it more engaging and effective so one tip is that if you can create a what if scenario so uh, you know as i said that in conjoint analysis the most important uh, uh, aspect is getting the uh, right kind of uh, you know uh, details uh, once you will going to see the spss file you will going to understand that uh, you know for having 27 or 30 combination and if we are asking one person to fill such a huge survey it is really tiring so uh, getting a data for such kind of surveys is a little bit a challenging task in conjoint analysis and that is why uh, how marketers uh, can get such kind of data for that there are some tips as i said one is what if scenario so get creative with the attribute combinations you can have imagining hypothetical scenarios to gauge consumer reactions uh, these kind of uh, you know in uh, 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 what if scenarios will definitely going to help you to get some kind of uh, answers from the customers and if you can gamify the survey so if you can incorporate the element of gamification that will is also going to make your survey more engaging so you can add progress bars reward for completions or interactive element to keep respondent interesting throughout another one is use visual and storytelling 
so images videos narratives to illustrate product features and their benefits and that will going to make your survey more enjoyable and uh, that will be memorable or respondent as well another very good one is add easter egg so this is something you know fun surprises or easter egg throughout the survey to reward attentive respondents for example a hidden jokes pop culture references or some kind of a trivial questions which is related to product or industries that they are being surveyed encouraging creative response will allow respondent to express creatively through open ended questions or creative exercises you can ask them to design their ideal product or come up with a catchy slogans or names then you can also have a virtual focus group so transform this kind of conjoint analysis into a collaborative event by hosting virtual focus group with respondents and that will going to facilitate your discussions brainstorming sessions and also interaction with the unique insights and the ideas Uh, fun facts you can share with them some statistics some fun facts related to your product related to uh, to the industry throughout the survey and again it will going to keep them engaging and as well as it will going to educate them and that is one thing wonderful idea to get uh, you know some uh, responses because it is a lengthy uh, process as i said you can also have some uh, personality quizzes so you add personality quiz or assessment to segment respondent based on their personalities and that will allow for tailored uh, marketing strategy yes celebrate milestones of course so once you will uh, complete the uh, you know uh, so some sections are there if they will going to complete some sections there should be some milestones some kind of uh, you know celebrations so rewards or parties or some uh, badges that they can Uh, you know uh, th- that will going to sense uh, foster a sense of community and motivation and uh, of course follow up with thank you gifts and uh, if you will going to show some kind of appreciation for respondents for their time effort and personalized thank you gifts or rewards then uh, definitely these marketers will going to get a very good collection of the survey and this is a very very good technique to get the uh, you know uh, idea about a new product development so marketers please do follow some kind of tips which i have shared with you now uh, there are these are the facts again uh, this is concept this conjoint concept is an uh, the, uh, actually inspired by economics it is uh, actually a uh, study of utility theory and how individuals make trade off between the attributes when making a choice and again conjoint analysis as i said is required by every industry whether it is consumer good technology healthcare automotive and all these businesses understand consumer preferences predictive power this uh, uh, majorly used for predicting or forecasting consumer behavior if you will analyze the respondent choices or ratings of hypothetical product profile businesses can accurately predict how consumer will going to respond to the real product in the market aca most de- recent development in a, a conjoint analysis that adapt the survey question based on the respondent previous choices and is a very dynamic approach that is going to create more engaging survey experiences If you will ask choice based or rating based as i said both uh, are being used by different product uh, profile rating based is majorly used uh, by the respondents where we are asking them to rate or rank the importance of product uh, attributes and major companies if you see coca cola png microsoft they have utilized so don't under, under, underestimate this conjoint analytic technique most important one and people have utilized it and they are using them to understand the consumer preferences their optimize you know features what uh, kind of uh, pricing strategy they should keep all these things and uh, conjoint analysis is uh, you know used for product development it can also be used uh, for service you know design policy evaluation market segmentation so beyond product these are the also things which conjoint analysis can do statistical rigor as i said it is a statistical model where we are analyzing the respondent choices and ratings and providing a meaningful insights so uh, this is uh, if you ask what is the advanced technique of this so that is uh, hierarchical bayesian model and choice based are uh, majorly used for handling complex data sets 
Future tender if asked me the, with the rise of big data and uh, machine learning, this conjoint analysis is uh, uh, evolving to incorporate more advanced analytic techniques and uh, they are integrating real time data, predictive modeling as well as AI algorithm to enhance the accuracy and efficiency of analysis. I hope you enjoyed conjoint analysis concept and uh, this practical aspect also. So I try to make it very easy as well as practical and futuristic so please do subscribe my channel i am going to you know add more details related to this